menu which will put server stores to you. Uh, if I want to, if I want to add a, uh, if you just click on one of the uh, items in the menu, you can see the details of the food and also comments about that. So if I want to, uh, as a food server, if I want to add a food in my uh, meal in my menu, I will add it. I will di I will be directed to add meal page. So in the add meal page, I will add photo photo of the meal and I will add the meal name. And then I will add the ingredients one by one, like how much do I need, like the ingredients of the food, like salt <laughs> and the others. And after that, if I click the add meal part, add meal button, I will directly add the meal to the uh, menu. So that's all. Mock up or my mock up. So we will talk about the technology. Yeah. <coughs> We are doing it in the log. It's a personal log, but we are still talking about that. In here, if you click one of the meals, you can see the nutrition. But we didn't do whole analyzing thing. We are still arguing about the nutrition. Yeah, okay. Okay. but okay. So uh, just like I said with the other one <coughs> scenario. So I've ate, eaten some things, I went home, I'm going to eat before I eat. I want to see what's my situation, yeah. how many calories I consume, how much protein I consume, how much carbohydrate. And if I want details in terms of, let's say, I want to improve my iron intake or vitamin C intake, I'll be able to see that so I can make informed decisions. Yeah, maybe we can add like details for each day so we can see the details Again, like this, this is not a kind of application that anybody will use. Only people who are kind of trying to improve their track their nutrition, so they'll be interested in that. I'm trying to improve my situation, <coughs> so I need to know how I'm doing with respect to what I should be doing, right? So we need, we need something like that, and you're discussing that. Yeah, we're discussing. And I'll uh, take an article that explains it. kind of decided to use Java plus the framework called PropWizard on the back end. And that, what that does is basically it connects to the database and just uh, gets and returns database models, models of the tables in the database as JSON objects. There can be two different types to co to communicate between the back end and the front end. You can, you can just return JSON object and let the front end fetch them for you. This is what we're doing the other way, other way around is generating HTML from the back end and then returning them to the browser. That would be problematic, especially with considering we're going to have an Android client which requires the JSON thing. Right. Also, we're currently using React.js plus Redux for the front end parts, for the web, web front end parts, uh, which is React.js is basically a, a real framework by, uh, developed by Facebook. Uh, it's like in the MVC model, the V view part of it and plus Redux is like the more like somewhat C part of it which is basically yeah go on. which is basically getting data from the server and pushing it out to the view part and as far as I'm aware we haven't decided on using any additional 
libraries and frameworks and stuff in the Android front end. Uh, we we have decided on using React, considering a couple of alternatives for the front end. The JSON approach that, approach that I mentioned a, a minute ago kind of requires you to have some specific library in the front end, or else you're gonna need just tons of code fetching and updating all the data from the server. And the alternatives we considered were AngularJS, AmberJS, and KnockoutJS, and we kind of finally decided on to use React because it felt more understandable, less magic happens. Maybe. <coughs> so for the database part, we're currently using Postgres, which is basically an open source database software, a SQL database, and kind of like MySQL, but a bit more functional, at least when you're not getting into sharding and horizontal scaling and stuff. So the parts we're using is basically replaceable with MySQL. And what, what else? We have a little demo. Ooh, demo. Yeah, we, we have already finished just a small part of the web app. The Andro Android plant <coughs> is kind of more lacking, <coughs> but at least on the web we have sign up and login. <laughs> I'm still not sure if they will work or not. They were working a few days ago. <laughs> we might have broken something. <laughs>
you're still doing the planning work. Right? Of course, the planning is an ongoing process. You're done? <laughs>